Hello YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today I want to talk with you about my suggestions for a Father's Day gift if your father is a fish keeper. All right, so let's go ahead and get right underway. If you're uh, new to the channel and you like to always be learning about taking care of fish, be sure to hit that sub button and that bell if you haven't already. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the items that I'm suggesting as good gifts for a dad for Father's Day. And these are items that I think dad wouldn't necessarily run out and buy, uh, but should have. And uh, over the years, uh, they've, uh, they've joined the collection of things I have, and I'm very glad I have them. So I'm going to share this with you, and I'm going to go ahead and include the links to these products uh, below the video. All right, and be sure to comment and uh, on what you think about these products. And uh, if you think I left anything off the list, be sure to put it in the comments below. Okay. So the first item I have for you is a backup filter. Very often when we're building up our tanks, you know, we're putting tanks together and setups together, we don't think about uh, having backup. And uh, when a filter fails, it's a real scramble. So if you can get a backup filter for your dad, maybe something. This is a very large, heavy-duty filter called a Sun Sun 704B. It moves a lot of water. It holds a lot of media. And uh, this would be a great filter to have on backup. You can pick these up for about 100 bucks. Used to be a lot more expensive. Uh, to get something comparable, you can also get a Fluval for around 300. You can get um, a, a, a 3000 series of, of the uh, Sun Suns. I think those are a bit more, maybe about 150. So um, I'll include some links below. But a backup filter is something most dads don't run out and, and buy. But when you need one, you know, it's kind of like a parachute. Uh, when you need it, you really need it. Okay, so <laughs> so item number one is a backup filter. Item number two, this is uh, called a Rescue Air. And I'll hold it up to the camera there. Rescue Air. This, this one is made by Cobalt. And uh, they also have other less expensive ones that you can pick up on the internet. But what this does is in the event of uh, a power failure, it has a battery pack that will keep a, a bubbler going in the tank. And again, this is one of those things that you don't need it until you really need it. And then you really need it. So dad will be really appreciative if you get him a, a backup that he can that you know he can have that you, you can leave the airstone in the tank running and uh, when the power goes out it it will keep on running because it has a battery or you can have it plugged in but not running on standby and that way it'll detect when the power goes out and then start adding bubbles and oxygen to the tank what kills off the fish in a power outage is usually a lack of oxygen you know so uh, this can save the day for dad so that's a that one is a cobalt rescue air probably the best one you can get there all also are less expensive ones you know for probably a third of the price you're not going to get the quality uh, and you're not going to get the backup battery that comes with it a separate uh, to toggle sort of battery that comes with it but there are other ones out there another thing i suggest uh, for dad is this thermometer this is a digital a digital thermometer and this thermometer, uh, this one is made by Taylor. And again, I'll put a link. I'll put a link below. But this thing, you you turn this thing on, and this tells me instantly that I'm sitting in a room that's uh, 75.4, and it's still adjusting 75 degrees, 74.9 degrees. It gives you a very instant, instant read. So instead of fumbling with a with a thermometer while getting water out of a faucet to put into your tank or wondering what the temperature of the water is before you put it into the tank uh, you know pick up a a digital thermometer for dad and uh, he can know instantly what's coming out of the tap it has a little uh, illumination 
that turns on so that uh, for those dads whose eyes are, get, are not quite what they used to be. <laughs> so uh, a, a digital thermometer, I'll put a link below. Another thing, this is a game changer. And uh, this is an Aquion, or in this case, this one's a Python that connects to the faucet and allows you to run a hose directly into the tank. What this does is it takes it takes you off of bucket brigade. So you don't have to be filling up buckets, taking them over and dumping them outside or on the plants or, you know, you, you can just work with a hose right from the tap. You can drain the tank and also, um, or just take the hose over to where your plants are and water your plants with, uh, with tank water, which is pretty nutritious. Uh, but what it does, is it keeps you from straining your back the way I did. And uh, it's just a real game changer. It takes you off of the bucket brigade. If dad doesn't have this, get it for him. He'll thank you, especially when he's not waking up with back pain the morning after uh, doing water changes. Ask me how I know. <laughs> All right. Now, next. Simple timers. This is a simple timer. Get your dad a simple timer. This is for the lights and uh, maybe for the, for the power heads that are in the tank. Put them on a timer and forget about them. Uh, this, is, this prevents having to, oh, heck, I forgot to turn the tank off. Or did I turn the tank off? Did I turn it on? Oh, I forgot to turn the tank on. All that stuff, just forget that. Get a simple timer and uh, plug your lights into it or plug your power heads into it. Run your power heads for six hours or whatever. Run your lights for a few hours so you don't have a bunch of algae growing all the time because you're running them for too much time. So a simple timer is a real good idea. All right, so that's something I would recommend for uh, Dad on Father's Day. Another thing that I recommend that's a game changer, it was a game changer for me, as simple as it seems, is uh, something to clean the hoses for your... Uh, you know, for your filters, canisters, uh, you know, any any place where you're running water hoses, get one of these flexi cleaners. These flexi cleaners are great. Now you think your hoses are clean, uh, take them off and uh, run this flexi through it and you'll be shocked at how much gunk is gonna come out. And you, these things are, are, are just, just flexible. You run them through, you have two different sizes and the gunk that pours out of those hoses is amazing. And this will uh, uh, give, give Dad a hand when he's cleaning out those hoses. Now, another thing that uh, I suggest is some mesh bags and some carbon. The best carbon that I have found that just on firsthand experience that I've seen absorbs uh, incredibly is this uh, Seachem Matrix. Seachem Matrix Carbon. But any activated charcoal uh, will do really, but uh, I, I found this one is really good. And again, I'll put, I'll put links below, but get this and get some mesh bags. And uh, whenever you, you notice cloudiness or maybe an odd smell or something going on with the tank, or maybe you've just medicated the tank and you wanna get those residual meds out of there, uh, just go ahead and put some of this mesh car carbon uh, uh, put some of this carbon in a mesh bag and throw it in the filter for about a month. Take it out and throw it away and that'll take all the residual meds out. It'll clear up any any fogginess um, you know that you have going on. Uh, maybe you have some tannins from some wood that you're using, things of that like that. Carbon will do a good job getting rid of that. All right. One other thing. Meds. Meds, again, medication for your fish are things that you, again, you don't, you don't need them, but when you need them, you really wish you had them. And if you come home late and you notice that one of your fish has ick, uh, by the time you can probably get some either through ordering it or by uh, running out to the, to the pet store when it opens up tomorrow, that disease has progressed. So uh, I suggest you have something like this. In my case, I use the Cordon Ick Attack it's a great product, Cordon Ick Attack. Uh, it's worked very well for me. It's very gentle and effective. And uh, also having on hand something like API General Cure. API General Cure, I keep a nice little tub of it. Uh, so having some meds on hand, again, something that, uh, you know, if your dad's a fish keeper, he'll appreciate it if something happens. And uh, now, maybe your dad is not 
testing his water. Maybe he's using little strips. You know, they sell little strips that are inexpensive. But if you want to help him move into the big leagues uh, and uh, get him something that maybe he hasn't had the time or the inclination or the budget to go out and buy, pick him up an API uh, freshwater testing kit. Not sure if you can see it there, API freshwater testing kit. This is the, uh, this is the uh, master test kit. And uh, he'll run a few tests and realize what the, what's really going on with the tank. Doesn't have to be done all the time, just occasionally, you know, get a feel for how things are. Some people do it all the time. I do it maybe once every few, maybe once uh, every six weeks, maybe every two months, I'll do a full API. And in between there, I will use the strips. But uh, those, uh, those are the recommendations that I have uh, of what you can get dad, get your father on Father's Day, if your dad is a fish keeper. All right, I think he'll appreciate these. And uh, dads, send a copy of this video to your kids, and uh, I'm going to send one to mine, and uh, along with some other suggestions. <laughs> All right, so that's it for me, and um, be sure to, uh, if you don't already, be sure to follow me on uh, Instagram for some behind-the-scenes uh, photos and videos. You can see the link there. It's Ben, uh, Ben right up here, Ben O dot cichlid, Ben dot O dot cichlid on Instagram. And also we have a great Facebook group that is very helpful and it's Ben O apostrophe cichlid. Again, you can see it right here, Ben O apostrophe cichlid. And um, it, like I say, cichlids in the name doesn't matter. Uh, we're, we're open to all fish keepers, all levels. It's very friendly. We keep it troll free. So be sure to answer the questions uh, when you go to join. That way the admins of the group will let you in. That is how we keep it troll and bot free, okay? And uh, if you have any, any comments or suggestions uh, about the list that I shared, go ahead and share it below. And I want to hear what you would add to that list as a suggestion for a Father's Day present. Of course, it's driven a lot by, uh, by budget, right? I mean, some of, some of you are going to say, yeah, you know, a 300-gallon acrylic tank would be nice. Hey, if your kids can do it. <laughs> also, I hope to see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream where we can discuss uh, all kinds of fish stuff in a live format. I can answer your questions and comments, uh, and I really love doing that. So come on by on Saturday, usually around 10 a.m. Pacific for Cichlids and Coffee. All right. So uh, that's it for me. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.